Hi, good morning. It's Brendan here, uh, also known as Coney4600 on Uzi Talk Forum. Uh, today I'm making a short video on my first impressions of the fit and the finish of the new MAG Tactical Systems 556 Triton Muzzle Brake. Uh, the package arrived last night. It was basically bomb proof. It was one box inside of another. Uh, the muzzle brake was bubble wrapped. And uh, the brake also came with a supplied crush washer, separately packaged in a little plastic baggie. Uh, my first impressions of the muzzle brake was uh, basically wow. Uh, nothing like I'd ever really seen before. It just feels well made in your hand and it looks cool as hell. It's approximately about an inch longer than your standard A2 flash hider that is now replacing uh, mostly due to the three prong front end. The brake part of it is similar in length to the A2. It also has porting surrounding 180 degrees, just the same as the A2. On the bottom side it says mag 556 five, millimeter. Uh, the finish is beautiful silver color. Uh, doesn't look too good on my uh, painted up AR, but should look wonderful on my black SBR. I found uh, small burrs on the inside where the porting holes are. Uh, they were easily knocked off with a plastic pen. They must have been uh, left over from the machining process. Uh, if you have this happen, I recommend doing this over a trash can as I was picking small metal slivers out of my carpet for a while. Uh, the, fit, uh, the fit took a little bit to get going with. Uh, I removed the original A2 flash hider and crush washer using just a standard Tapco AR wrench. Uh, the half moon part fit over the A2 flash hider perfectly, but it actually is too big or too small. As I was, the wrench is too small to uh, tighten the new muzzle brake on. And also, the supplied crush washer lined up the muzzle brake approximately 60 degrees off from being centered. Uh, the way I remedied this was I used, in place of the crush washer, three medium sized shims from Spikes Tactical. Uh, using the three shims and the muzzle brake, it lined up perfect. And then I had to use an adjustable wrench carefully to tighten it versus using the AR wrench. Uh, once I mounted it earlier, uh, you got to be really careful not to poke yourself or your couch with the prongs. I made that mistake. Uh, I recommend trying to find a muzzle cap or make one for when storing or transporting the weapon. Uh, I will post some pictures later of how the muzzle brake looks with the A2 flash hider and then replaced with the Triton muzzle brake. I'll also be shooting this muzzle brake this week, next few days, using a Rock River Arms LAR-15 and also a 7.5 inch barreled SBR. Uh, I'll post a review about that as well and some pictures of what it looks like mounted on there. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.